three, two, one. Hello! Welcome to another stream. Today we're gonna watch the wreck from Super Mario Bros. Wonder. We don't have a 2D Mario platformer since 2012 with new Super Mario Bros. U. We had in 2017 the deluxe, but um, you know, that's the same game, so oh well. And the super looking forward to see. Um, it's a completely new game. They just threw the trailer two months ago and we don't have any information. But for the next 15 minutes, we're gonna know a lot of things. And I am dressed for the occasion. You can see the Mario Kart t-shirt. This was given to me on my birthday. So this can also be a ritual where I'm gonna summon Mario Kart 9. <laughs> Let's go. Man, I love the music blocks. What the hell is that on the left? <clears throat> Voice crack. Damn it, the chat is still there. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm gonna put behind. S no! Oh, I see. It's like in a movie, but in the movie, we were stealing the star. Here is the wonderful. <laughs> I saw this on the reveal trailer. It looks so sick. It's like a badass clown car. What the hell are those piranhas? A lot of green shading, not the purple that we are used to see. Chaos spread across the, land. the castle moves! Like, now, it's inside it's of that clown car. Those 10 Mario coins Brothers are gonna be Wonder some game. sort of star coins, I believe. This is the oh, oh, oh. oh, that pink kingdom it's looks so sick. Seven worlds? Plus one might be the bonus one, not eight worlds, seven. Oh, the background. It has a lot of pink so far, is it just me? I'm, I'm assuming that's poison. It's no longer purple. Sad. Okay, that's definitely poison. A spike froze fireballs now! Move around freely through open areas. They did a great redesign. Oh, you can walk wherever you want, like in Super Mario 3D World. Okay, that's gonna be useful. This might just give us hints throughout the gameplay. He said, like, timing is key, so I was right. Yep, definitely hints. Hopefully, Nabit is not undefeatable. That was kinda dull. Daisy. Oh, this is a huge plus. Daisy, the return of Daisy. I'm gonna play with Daisy all the time. <laughs> you can throw the shells up like in Super Mario World! Ooh, that looks kinda tricky. Okay, an easy an option. You can step on them. They have spikes. They'll even plow through goo. Oh, this is a slime from New Super Mario Bros. Mozies yes, which reminds me a lot. If you position yourself just like you right. have the ground pound to open your way. Classic. Booze. And the Koopas now have roller skates. Whoa, what's that on the left? Next, and on the middle? Okay. Loki, the Mega wall. Mushroom. Yep. And even do this. <laughs> In this form, what? It's easily Excuse me? It's not just Mario though. The amount of potential for level design is biblical. Peach looks weird in the elephant form. We used to use the baby Yoshis to make bubbles. Not anymore. And the Koopas react to the attacks. Like platform. That's gonna be a great gimmick for star coins. This can be really this useful in cave level, I'm assuming. Or it's giving me the feeling. Head. Hopefully the game doesn't become too easy because of this. Here. That looks too overpowered. Hey, it's always good to keep some tradition. Oh. Tradition. Ooh. Bust out a power up. You, we used to have a double screen for that. Not anymore. After. Okay, we know this from the first trailer, everything just goes crazy, you're gonna see the pipes going up and down. That already happens in real life, if you consume certain things. Vertical levels... Oh, hell yeah. Oh, change of perspective. Okay, this is not new, we had the Goomba hat in Mario Maker 2. I love this power-up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, the return of the balloon, Mario! It was so janky in Mario World. 
I'm gonna get all of them. I want 100% this game. You'll Collectibles. With its own special ability. Let's oh, you gain abilities! Slow your fall with Die! The <laughs> It's not every day that you have collectibles in a video game and they are useful. Oh, this is gonna make water levels so good to play. I'm gonna love water levels again. So much content. Imagine the mods in a few years time if this game becomes moddable. Just imagine. Oh, he has shops. flower coins you collect in courses for badges. Finally, coins are gonna matter. They learned their lesson with Mario Odyssey, where coins actually matter. Okay, that's an upgrade. I always found, you know, being in a bubble kind of dull. And you can also be eaten, probably. That's weird. A bit sus. <laughs> this is an animal abuse. Yoshi's clearly struggling. Oh, they are not interactable, like... Imagine... They're just ghosts. Ah... Uh, so place them oh, it's not so easy. You can basically create a checkpoint. More to your collection. You Once again, which you'll get coins finally when you come matter. Coins are no longer something name, just to get extra lives. Point. They could make a battle royale mode. Room, you can see which like Super Mario 35. Well, Mario Kart 9. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I said it in the beginning. <laughs> So this can also be a ritual where I'm gonna summon Mario Kart 9. <laughs> I was a bit afraid that the game could be, you know, more than the same. A lot of similarities with the new Super Mario Bros. series, because as the series went on, it would lack in terms of uh, originality. No, I was completely wrong. Already 15 minutes. <gasps> okay, it looks a bit too blank. They could have done much better. They could have done much more uh, with uh, the dock. They could have put some hard work in the back of the Switch. Um, it has nothing to do with New Super Mario Bros. Um, you know, the series. I was talking with a friend and I was asking him if this can lead to other games and start a new series or if it's gonna be just one game and that's it. But by seeing so much content, so much potential, I think this can lead to a new game series like they're gonna explore everything all these abilities all these badges throughout this game but here's the question there's so much stuff that we can get situation where a lot of gimmicks are going to be only explored through one or two levels and that's not enough we can have uh, some sequels i just want to look at this this is a clown car on steroids. And Bowser Jr. I didn't see Boom Boom. These 10 packers are gonna work as star coins. And this is also a great thing. Finally we're gonna get new environments. I was getting tired of grass, desert, ice, jungle. Actually jung the jungle theme is my favorite one so I wouldn't mind. Maybe the 10 packer can uh, work as a secondary star coin. Let's say it like that. Uh, we only have the names of the first three worlds. My favorite one by far is the second. Now seven worlds we used to have a uh, Eight world you wonder if we're gonna have a bonus world so the first one is about grass and has a lot of rock and be a mixture of the world one and seven and uh, no world one and six uh, the world seven is more focused on sky which um, can be world two the first world looks like a minecraft forest <laughs> yep the second world is definitely gonna be my favorite one. Oh, these temporary platforms this is uh, flashbacks to super mario world so many new enemies it's Unbelievable. I really hope that the boss battles are original. I didn't see any couplings, by the way. Like, I don't mind the couplings, but make the fights original and uh, a bit harder. This is definitely poison. I'm gonna miss the purple poison. I'd rather see the poison purple. The negative, it makes me very thirsty. So in this level, we can get two wonder seeds. But in this one, you can get three. First, you have uh, in every single level three star coins to get. It's not the case here. So this can mean that some levels are shorter than the others. And this is also something interesting. You can move freely in the world map. You can see we have the shops. We have a Wi-Fi sign, which is going to be for the multiplayer. So you can interact a lot. Imagine if the spike variant just called fire. <laughs> Oh yes, I'm seeing a Wiggler. Wigglers are on this game. Thank you so much. You can purchase levels. We have this gimmick in New Super Mario Bros. DS. You could uh, buy alternative paths, mushroom houses, mega mushroom houses for the price of 
five star coins. In this case, this one costs 10. The wonder seeds are the substitutes of star coins. Yes, I saw this and uh, this was the first thing that came to my mind. And you saw during some gameplay that the perspective can be changed. So Mario can go to that place where he has three question mark blocks, several Yoshis with different colors. I'm surprised they are only just four. Must be for the multiplayer. They could have put more colors like in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I wonder if Luigi has the bigger jump. No one's gonna play as Navit. Navit, you know, is invincible. Like, what the hell is this? They have the same mechanic as the skip squeak. I don't know if I said it correctly. These are the blue birds, but way more aggressive. So that's a good thing. This slime is from New Super Mario Bros. DS. You had to ground pound to open your way. I was saying that. So the puffer fish, but there's no water. They bumped shells. Are you saying they're not gonna do the bop bop? These power-ups look so overpowered. I really hope this doesn't make the game easy. Yeah, this is the Mega Mushroom, but you're smaller than the Mega Mushroom. And the Mega Mushroom had the big roll, which wasn't really used that often. Another great gimmick. The pink hat with the red overalls doesn't look good. It's not good color combination. Oh, it was, it was using the drill. I was saying that it was ground pounding. Never mind. They went crazy with the power-ups. I like this, they have different colors. They did a great job with the tile sets. And the backgrounds. I was talking about this, the change of perspective. And it's good they're bringing the space theme. It was only on Mario Maker 2. Despite having the Goomba Max, he's being chased by enemies. That is really interesting. In, the, in Mario Maker 2, you wear the Goomba Mask and the, the enemies don't chase you up. Wait, I might have an idea. You see where that 10 coin is? What looks down looks like uh, spikes and the Goomba has the ability to walk on spikes. This is gonna be my favorite by far. It's also great to see Balloon Mario returning. This is also a good thing. Collectibles and they... Uh, actually matter in the gameplay okay parachute cap oh man oh what the hell this is awesome and we can shake the controller to do some action i wonder if we can do certain abilities with the joy cons like in mario odyssey now the dolphin kick is gonna make water levels so much satisfying to complete i swear i tend not like water levels because they are so slow i only like them when i'm wearing the penguin suit or the blue shell so this is without a doubt a welcome addition man i'm mesmerized with the parachute cap it has the similar mechanic to the acorn suit but without uh, you know the the vertical boost and this is similar to the Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom. So they're bringing a lot of things from previous games, which is gonna give this feeling of nostalgia and can be a big point when it comes to selling the game. But it has a different name and feels new. Well played by Nintendo. They just took this from Subway Surfers. <laughs> <laughs> and this is good. To get to power-ups in the previous games, you had to do the, those enemy ambushes. In my opinion, were boring. And this is also a big thing. Coins are gonna matter from now on. They're not gonna be used just to get extra lives. What the hell is this? This looks so sus. A Ryoshi? A, a Ryoshi. That's a new species. This is nothing for Yoshi. Come on, Yoshi W. Yoshi the Goat. Never did show Yoshi to get star coin. I never did that. And this is a proper online game. A proper online mode. They could have a versus mode like uh, in Mario Maker 2. Maybe we'll have. This is just a preview. Damn it, this is gonna be so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna hate this level. I'm gonna get so 100% on that. Now, this is a proper online mode. All of us begging for Mario Kart 9. And this is what we get. You can play as a honeypot. Ah, that looks stupid. It's gonna age like milk, like in two months time, it's gonna be like my favorite power-up, just imagine. And then I'm gonna watch my analysis to this in a few years time and I'm gonna feel stupid. <laughs> world 2, my favorite world. And the silhouette levels are a, a good welcome addition. Okay, a lot of content. Thank you very much. That is a welcome addition, without a doubt.